Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor Nishivata and this is a review of On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. This is a science fiction graphic novel and it is sublime. It is beautiful story, um, fantastic art. Um, it's such an emotional journey. The story is, it's just beautifully told in a fantastic format that works perfectly well. I, I love it to pieces. It's so, so brilliant. And it's a really massive, big, thick, heavy book and it's stunning. So you open up with Mia who is just joining a ship and there's a small crew there and what this ship does is they travel throughout the galaxy and they restore old buildings and old monuments and they transform them into what they used to be, restore them or make office blocks or do whatever they're contracted to do. What Tilly Walden has done is, is fantastic. I've not really seen it in many graphic novels and I've not really made, read that many, to be fair, either. All these sections on the ship with Maya that you see in the beginning are in a kind of purple hue. I'll show you some pictures in a second. And then quite quickly you flash back to like four or five years previously when Maya is at a boarding school and all those sections have a blue hue. And I think it's a very, very clever way of the writer and artist to differentiate between the two timelines because you flick back and forth between them and no words need to be said about what timeline you're in because the colours do it for you. I'll pop the book up here to show you because it's very heavy and it's too hard to do. So you can see the starting section on the ship is with this purple hue. And then the bit, sections in the boarding school are in blue. There are other colours interspersed throughout the book and they have their different relevance um, as the story goes on. But for each timeline, the main colour is either purple or blue. And I just think that was fantastic on the author's and artist's part. This story is a magical story. So you have the this character, Maya, in this ship and throughout this book they go on an adventure to find Maya's lost love and I just think it's beautiful, um, very emotional. So many things happen, there's so much deeper connection with all these characters. This is a world without men as far as I'm led to believe. They're all women or non-binary and, and lots of sapphic relationships. And these relationships are the backbone of this world, this universe, um, not even just in a romance perspective but all these characters have fantastic interpersonal relationships and their connections and how they build a family together is just really beautiful to watch. And seeing it in graphic, um, in graphic form is just a really beautiful way of like appreciating and enjoying this story. I couldn't imagine reading this story in a traditional prose. Um, it was made to be in this format and with this fantastic art style, um, absolutely lovely. It didn't take any time at all for me to adjust the art style. Um, in my opinion, it was very straightforward. The colouring was beautiful. I'm just going to show you two of my favourite um, pictures from very near the start of the book. Um, I've got loads that are my favourites, but I don't want to spoil you for anything because um, according to Goodreads, it's not been hugely read. And I think that's a real pity. I think more people need to pick this up, but I can understand that in this physical form, it would be quite expensive. Um, but yeah, more people need to experience this um, beautiful sapphic story with like coming of age and exploration around the galaxy. The, the remaking and remodelling these buildings is beautiful. It's just stunning. <laughs> I can't think of any more flattering <laughs> descriptions. Um, this is one of them. First images I love. And it's one of their ruined buildings that they're going to... Um, fix up. And as you can see there is still a purple hue to it but there's yellow as well. And then this one here is at the boarding school with the blue hue um, looking at a moon. Um, I just think it's stunning and I love the cover art as well. Um, it just shows the colours so it's the purple and the blue and the red and the green. Um, and it is just 
just brilliant. Oh, I've just realised, and Brian K. Vonahook from Saga um, wrote on the back as well. Tilly Walden is the future of comics and On a Sunbeam is her best work yet. It's a space story unlike any you've ever read with a rich, lived-in universe of complex characters. And I do think that sums up On a Sunbeam perfectly. It was a beautiful story from start to finish. Um, I didn't find myself bored at any point. I was really invested in the storylines, even the current one and the one in like five years in the past. All the characters are amazing, um, were really deep, complex characters, all with really interesting backstories. And it's science fiction, so it was such a rich, detailed world that Tilly Walden has created. And I would love to know more about this world and have more stories in this universe. So many amazing science fiction concepts. And yes, I loved it to pieces. So. Yes, this has been my very gushing review and I think everyone should pick up this graphic novel if you haven't heard of it before. really encourage you to pick it up. I've read this and I've, I've had this over a year and I'm really gutted that I haven't read it before now but I've picked it up as part of March's Femathon and I'm so, so glad I did. Um, I don't know if you can still get this online. She did originally publish this as a part of online webcomic. Um, I don't know if she's taken it down now that she's selling a physical copy but I would encourage you to check out Tilly Walden she's written lots of other graphic novels that I'm not necessarily going to check out because they've got like, contemporary storylines and that's not usually something I pick up but if she writes more science fiction or writes for any fantasy I will definitely be picking them up so let me know if you've heard of On a Sunbeam or if this has now encouraged you to pick it up and check out Tilly Walden as an artist um, be sure to leave some comments down below like and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.